Because I'm feeling the ancestors set out without looking back. We won't stop for a moment until we slaughter you bastards. Now, return my sister! And accept our challenge. We'll completely annihilate you in a fair fight! You savage! Getting so hot! Just one girl! Haven't you heard? We'll pay you an adequate price for this girl. We'll give the Gale tribe enough weed to easily live for three years. And you will be granted the status of an honorary member of the Senate. Haven't you heard the rumors? It's a status higher than the clouds that savages like you could never reach in their whole lives. To become a senator, receive the support of the Empire, and become a chief of the Gale tribe, wouldn't that be great? And with the backing of the Empire, more than just the chief of the Gale tribe, you'd become a chief of all the tribes in this region. In the end, you'd be the ruler of Eren, and even Albion! Why would I need something like that, you idiot? You'd put a price on my sister? I live only to fulfill my oath. A brat who doesn't understand the value of things. How about it? Yeah, without a doubt, it's him. He's really straightforward and transparent. Just like him. Not bad. Not bad at all. But not enough. Oh crap. Oh no, my stream! No! I just realized it went off! No! Hold up. Hold up. And... There we go. Yay! It should be back up now, I hope. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I sometimes get a black screen of death. <laughs> There's nothing more to discuss, so hurry up and decide. Will you release my sister, or be killed by me right here and now? <laughs> <laughs> Killed by you? I'll slaughter the both of you. Both. You're including me as well. So it would seem. Well then, try it! Although Rhiannon, who has come under my control, will die as well. What? Your sister has already revealed her true name to me. So long as she is under my spell, your sister's fate is linked to my life. No matter how much of a fool you are, you can understand this much, right? <laughs> that laugh, though. Damn it! You coward! This is bad, at this rate. The situation is more serious than I expected. He's taken not only this girl's mind, but also her life under his control. Surely neither this con or this kid, nor Org- why, why do I keep wanting to put ours? Ogom would be able to interfere. Damn, can't be helped. Arun-sama? I've thought of an interesting plan. I let out a coarse laugh and glared at the girl's face. While doing so, I nonchalantly peered into her eyes. The innermost parts of her deep purple eyes into the dark, sinking depths of the 
um, abyssal sea, I glimpsed a faint twinkling of light. I slowly pushed my consciousness towards it, extending, being enveloped by that light. Oh man, she's naked. She's naked. <laughs> <She's nakey. laughs> oh no. Ah no. Hey, wake up, little girl. I directly called out to that faintly twinkling light inside the girl's heart. This is the best I can do right now. Get up, you idiot! <laughs> it seems you can hear me. Girl, Rhiannon was your name? I can hear something from somewhere. The voice of a male stranger. Not the voice of a scary priest. I must be losing my mind. Hurry and wake up, you idiot! You haven't lost your mind yet, but at this rate, you certainly will. Um, are you someone who has come from outside my mind? So, Aron Samada. Yes, I am Ar Aron Sama. Um, Come now. I'm right in front of your eyes. Why don't you notice? I'm sorry. I can't see anything anymore. When I gave out my real name, my eyes went completely dark. Like I had fallen to the, uh, to the bottom of a deep well. Yes, it is PG-13, but you can totally see a nip coming from, or like, jutting out of that gauze or ribbon or whatever it is around her. Goddamn! <laughs> Taku. Good grief. It's because you did something so dumb. For those who command power, their true name is the same as their life. Why weren't you more careful with it? The once a good for nothing guy learns it. Every last corner of his soul will be sucked away and become a slave and to a death. That's true. But I helped it. As soon as my brother left me in charge, many soldiers in red bloomed helmets came. And then. That scary priest had, or had me tell him my true name, or else he said he would. You were threatened. He dragged in some children crying in fear of the soldiers and was going to break off their fingers like twigs, bending them slowly until so I quickly... That's enough. I understand. Don't drag on such a boring story. Hurry up and forget about that and open your eyes. But I told them my true name, so... You are a close bloodline. So you are trying to act like one of his descendants, huh? But he married a human. So even if you are of mixed blood from countless generations ago, you're still a human, right? Isn't that right? Yes, I'm not an elf. Then you're fine. If you're human, you can do anything. The point is to have resolution, fighting spirit. You'll be able to open your eyes with just that. But... Now isn't the time to hesitate. If you don't hurry... Anyway, connect with my heart. 
Even if your name has been stolen, you can still do that, right? I'll lend you my eyes and ears, so take a look at this terrible situation. And also, be right back, guys, because I think my stepbrother's stupid fucking dog got loose again and in the house, so hold up. I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Well, the dog didn't come in. It was just really cold for some reason, so I thought the dog had come in. <laughs> and now I have to set up my screen again. Here we go, okay. So, it must have just been a cold spot or something. I have a lot of ghosts in my house, so it's very possible. <laughs> Sorry. If you don't want to die, return my sister! No matter how much you threaten me, the only thing you can bring about is the death of your beloved sister. Of course, you'll follow right along after her. Now, try cutting me up! If you want to see the same scars and the same blood spurting from your sister. Damn it! How dirty can you get? Rhiannon! Just wait! Your brother will definitely save you! Aw, oh, such a typical hero type. Brother! He's come to save me! He's kind of an idiot, even you. Even knowing that reinforcement troops are on their way, he won't move from here. At this rate, neither of you idiots will be saved. Do you understand now? If you don't break that guy's spell, both of you will be destroyed. Now, wish for it. Wish from your heart. Wish that you're free, that you're allowed to do anything you want. Quickly! Harun-sama! Thank you! But, is it alright? Please. Er, but, it's alright. My, my bad. <laughs> Please, tell this to Arthur. Hurry and run away. And, I'm sorry. I, Rhiannon, am no longer someone fit to carry on the chief's bloodline. I've lost my true name and my power, and was unable to uphold the honor and oaths of our village. 
I no longer have any value left for you to save. So, hurry and run away. 